Flying Monkeys and the Smear Campaign. First I'd like to talk about Flying Monkeys. It's a phrase used in popular psychology, mainly in the context of narcissistic abuse. The narcissist needs a partner in their denial. So Flying Monkeys are people who act on behalf of the narcissist, usually for an abusive purpose. They can be also known as APAS, which are followers of the narcissist, or enablers, because they enable the narcissist to abuse you. They make it possible for this to happen with a code of silence. They justify the wrongdoing of the narcissist. A fly monkey can be anyone who believes the fake persona of the narcissist. Normal emotionally healthy people do not abuse or manipulate. They do not get involved in someone else's business. Narcissists do and they take it personally even though it has nothing to do with them. Fly monkeys have a variety of tactics. Spying, spreading gossip, threatening, painting the narcissist as a victim and painting a negative picture of you. A fly monkey can make it seem like the narcissist isn't really involved. They are likely to have no idea that they are being used. Multiple fly monkeys act as a mobbing force against you. They can be used to create a smear campaign. They will all see you the same way and have the same motive to sabotage and destroy your life. The smear campaign is usually prepared in the devaluation phase so it is ready for when they discard you. They will blame all of their abuse, manipulation, stalking and harassment on something you have done in your past. They will blame you for things that have nothing directly to do with them. This could be from months or even years ago. This is their excuse, their motive for doing what they do. Every abuser will either be in denial or have an excuse. The truth is, all of the abuse, manipulation, stalking and harassment have nothing to do with what you allegedly did. They might have done the same thing themselves and often they have done worse than anything you have done. So they're trying to project onto you. If this had anything to do with something you did in your past they will be doing it to other people who have done it too they would be stalking and harassing other people who have done the same thing they would forget about you and be focusing on people who have done worse than what you have done so clearly it has nothing to do with anything you've done If we want to talk about people doing bad things, there are real child molesters, rapists and even murderers out there. So why they're wasting their time watching what you are doing and harassing you? They are in denial. 
pretending that is the reason because the truth is too difficult and shameful to accept. I live in Swansea where 70% of all crimes from the past year have been left unsolved by the police. 25% of those crimes are violence and sexual offences. Another 25% of those crimes are antisocial behaviour. And yet, instead of focusing their time on these real criminals who never even got charged for their crimes, they have chosen to spend the last three years focused on stalking and harassing me. I have been the victim of police brutality on two occasions where I received injuries from head to toe. I have also been assaulted and had thousands of pounds of material items and cash stolen from me over the past few years. None of these crimes were ever followed up by the police. They do not care about people. They just pretend to. The root of all of this is their envy. They could be envious of you as a person, your past relationships, money, material things, your career or any good qualities which you may possess. Narcissists and their fly monkeys are very envious people. If you have any doubt about this, ask yourself, who else are they stalking or harassing? No one, right? Well, if what you have done bothered them so much, they will be doing the same thing to someone else who has done the same thing as you. So this is proof that it really has nothing to do with anything you've done. They are extremely envious and that is the root cause of all of this. They will remain hateful, angry and envious towards you for the rest of your life. Normal people do not do that. They learn to forgive and resolve conflict. Sure, if you have done something that offended a normal, emotionally healthy person, they will be mad in the beginning, but they will not create a smear campaign. They will deal with it themselves. And although they might be cold and distant towards you at, at first, over time this will fade away. It might take weeks or even a few months depending on what you've done. But if you are dealing with an emotionally healthy person, they will not remain in a state for over a year. There are families of victims who have been murdered and even they have managed to forgive the murderer after a few months. Any long-term abuse, manipulation, stalking or harassment will not be related to anything you have done. The root of this behaviour is envy. If this was not true, they would be focused on other people who have done the same thing or worse. But they don't do that. They focus on you and no one else. They pretend that you are the only person who has ever done something wrong. It is as though no one has ever done what you have done. No one has ever done anything worse. When in reality, what you have done is probably not even that bad compared to what they have done to you or compared to what other people have done.
So there is no denying the real reason for all of this. They will even try to set you up to make it look like you have done something wrong because they know you are not that bad. They have to motivate themselves to abuse, manipulate, stalk and harass you. They are lying about their true reasons and motivations for doing what they do. The truth is they are just extremely envious of you. They likely targeted you from the beginning. The very qualities that they liked in the beginning soon became everything they want to destroy. Because they cannot partake in your greatness. They cannot possess the positive qualities which you possess. Well, you must be a pretty amazing person if all of these people are stalking and harassing you. Just ask yourself, why aren't they doing this to anyone else? They are only doing it to you because they are more envious of you than they are of anyone else. You may be thinking, how can they be more envious of me than anyone else? There are people who have much more than me for them to be envious about. Well, it doesn't matter how much you have. When someone is envious, it means that they want to take something from you. Even if they have more money than you, or a loving relationship which you do not have, they can still be envious of you. Pay attention to what they have sabotaged or what they are trying to sabotage now. That is exactly what they are envious of. I will do a video on envy and jealousy soon. The smear campaign will create a very dangerous environment for you to live in. The fly monkeys will go out of their way to harass you. Any sign of happiness or fulfillment with your life, relationships, friendships, career or finances will trigger them to attack. They feel no guilt only deep-rooted shame. Avoid revealing your personal information if you suspect you are dealing with a fly monkey. Narcissists work together with their fly monkeys. Anything you reveal to them will go back to the narcissist to be used as ammo And remember that the narcissist has most likely painted a picture of you to the fly monkeys and so they will all see you in a bad way. So just avoid defending yourself to the fly monkeys. It will not resolve anything. They have already been conditioned and adopted the beliefs of the narcissist. I hope this helps you to deal with the fly monkeys and the smear campaign. Thank you.